But honestly, like from the size of her backpack, she could just plan. But honestly, from the size of that backpack, she could become. Ugh. Hey, how are you? My name is Max Nelson, and a bunch of you guys have been tweeting me about more story time videos. Embarrassing stories, huh? You've come to the right guy. Grab a beer, grab a milk, grab a lemonade, unless you're Jay-Z, too soon, and I'll tell you the story of my date from hell. Or Hollywood, you know. <laughs> Synonymous. So this one starts out with me at the club. Excuse me, the club. <laughs> you know what a club is, right? <laughs> I fucking love this place, bro. It was my buddy's birthday, and we're there raging. And by raging, I mean standing around, not really talking to each other because we can't hear anything because music's too loud, paying way more than we should for a regular drink, and basically me hating my life. <laughs> awesome. So anyway, this girl comes up to me and she goes, and I'm like, what? Oh. Anyway, we do sort of start talking, even though it's basically just like yelling as loud as I possibly can. She seems cool, give her my number, you know, whatever, that's the end of the night. Quick sidebar, this is exactly why I hate clubs because you can't hear anybody, which means you can't talk to anybody, which means you can't connect with anybody at all, which is ridiculous. Like, if you're going to the club to meet a fine ass, piece of fine ass, wouldn't you want to talk to them, have a normal conversation, make sure they're not a lunatic? We in the business call this foreshadowing. So anyway, the next night rolls around and she actually hits me up. She texts me and she's like, hey, what's up? I had a really good time with you. Do you want to hang out again tonight? And maybe this time we'll do something quieter where we can like chit chat and not just ns ns the whole night. Ns ns I fucking love this place. So I'm like, all right, cool. I go and pick her up and this girl comes out of the place with a backpack. Not a big clutch, not a purse, not one of those like tote bag size purses that you carry like nine lip glosses, an extra pair of flats, fucking bag, wine, a small dog, a taser. I don't know what you guys keep in there. But this was legit like a backpack. Like, up oh, my first day of sixth grade. Like, let's get to going. I mean, like, whatever. Different strokes, right? So we start driving, and she starts talking, and she starts talking non-stop. It gets real weird, because I realize that she's not actually listening to anything I say. It got so bad that I started throwing gibberish nonsense at her to see if she figured it out. She didn't. Yeah, I love going to clubs, but it's, like, so annoying when the managers keep switching places, because, like, I need them to know me. Yeah, because elephant construction worker Shablamalam. Exactly, like I've been going to these clubs for years now and they need to know that I don't deserve to wait in a line. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just not one of those people. She was on auto talk. I don't know what the hell she was doing. I didn't know what to do. It was like, fucking moth. She went to my place because I had to grab my flip flops. She immediately runs into my room, closes the door, locks the door. I'm like, what, the, what, uh, the fuck, what? The door opens, bam, she comes out in pajamas. Pajamas. Like, not like, oh, I'm sexy, like, straight up pajamas. Like, this is an adult person. She's like, let's do this, I'm ready for the beach. I'm like, okay, whatever. So we go out down to the beach, and the one thing I say is, like, please make sure you see where your flip flops are because it's really dark, it's easy to lose shit in the dark, and if you kick your flip flops off, you're gonna lose them. Like, please, please make sure you know where your flip flops are. What do you think the first thing she does when she gets to the beach? Ah, ah, gone. Just, ah! Uh, okay, fine. She starts running in the waves, like, look at me, I'm in the water! Did you see, they almost hit my feet, but I was too fast, I'm running faster than the water! So anyway, finally, she's like, all right, my feet are cold, like, let's go home. I'm like, okay, well, where, were you, where are your flip-flops? I don't know where my fucking flip-flops are, I thought you were gonna look for them! Now you have my shoes, stop hiding them from me, it's not funny, my feet are cold! Oh my god, are you serious? She starts stomping around, like, my feet are freezing! You're a fucking dick, stop hiding my flip-flops! <laughs> I was like, I, I could just go drown myself. It's one way of doing it. But anyway, I, f I found her flip-flops. I found them. It was a fucking miracle. We finally get back to the house. I'm like, okay, it's time for you to get your backpack so I can take you home now. She was like genuinely shocked that she wasn't sleeping out. But honestly, from the size of that backpack, she could have been planning on staying here for like months. Maybe even a year, I don't know. So I'm driving her home. We're like five minutes away from her house. She's like, stop the car, I need some fucking conditioner. You gotta take me to the grocery store. I need some conditioner right now. So I pulled over into the store. Like, I, I didn't know what to do. One, I know girls are finicky with their hair. Two, what weird request is that? Like I was blindsided. So we go to the store. I'm like, oh yeah, this one's good for uh, split ends. This one's good for uh, dandruff. Why, what do you? Oh, hello? Gone. She was gone. She, she pulled Batman on. She disappeared right in front of my... What? I don't know what to do. I finally hear like, Yeah! She's at the end of the aisle. I'm like, oh, good job. You disappeared on me. You're a ninja. She's like, come get me! I'm like, what? Okay. Walk down the end of the aisle. She runs around to the other fucking side of the aisle. Ah! You can't get me! You can't get me! 
I'm like, are we playing hide and seek right now? Are you, are you serious? Oh, I was just like, look, I'm not going to get you, so I'm going to the counter, so... Fuck yourself, I don't know. She gets her basket, she gets the shampoo, and she gets paper towels, and she gets fucking grapes, and she gets fucking cleaning shit. She gets a bunch of, like, a bunch of shit. And then the cashier lady's like, ding, ding, ding. All right, that'll be $47. And this girl looks at me like, well. And I'm like, what? well, what? Pay her the $47, we can get the hell out of here. She's like, well, obviously I don't have my wallet, you fucking dick. So you want me to pay for your groceries? Why wouldn't you pay for my groceries? Like, that's such a dick move. Don't be a dick, just pay her the $47. On what planet? Would I pay for your groceries? That makes zero sense. You think I'm not worth it? You think I'm just a fucking scumbag? Like, what's your problem? Somebody pay me. It's such a bullshit move. Kinda have to respect it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Finally, I was just like, fine, whatever. If I have to pay $47 and I never see you ever again, happily, I'll pay that shit in my sleep. Call it like a bad date tax or whatever. Pay for his shit, we drive up to her house. She's all like, oh my god, I had such a good time, like... What are you what are you doing tomorrow? Like, do you wanna like what are you doing? Alright. <laughs> what? Uh, please goodbye. Please goodbye. That's what I said. I couldn't think of sentences anymore. I was just like, please, this is what I want, and goodbye this is what I really want. And she got out of the car. And you know what? The the feeling of joy and elation and relief when she was out of that car and out of my life, and I could just drive away and go home and go to bed and just for like <sighs> But that's it. I mean, it was it was just such a weird, ridiculous night. And the moral of the story is, if you're gonna go swimming at night, make sure you remember where your flip-flops are. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. If you don't like the video, please subscribe. My name is Max Nosleys, and we'll see you next Tuesday.